Welcome back. This morning we're sharing another recipe out of the WTWO kitchen. This is a special recipe that my family has been cooking for years as we head into December 24th, what we call it, a Cuban Christmas Eve. As we all prepare for our family Christmas events and maybe work Christmas events, things like yeah. that, we're going to be trying some fun recipes. And Savannah is doing a Cuban dish for us today, something that she grew up with. It's yes. going to be really interesting. So it's got a lot of prep work, right? Yes. We've been doing this now for, what, like four hours yeah. total. So this takes a lot of time. The first thing that we did yesterday when we got in, we took a package of beans. You can get them anywhere, just black beans, 16-ounce pack. And you want to cover them, put them in a big pan like this, and you cover them about this much with water. So you want the beans in the bottom and then the water on top of them because that will allow them to soak overnight and you do that step the day before you cook the beans so that's all set aside and then what we did today the first thing we got in was we chopped up an onion and green pepper we put the two bay leaves in here I put three just because we added a little extra beans you can see that VO right there also add some chicken broth I got a 48 ounce box of chicken broth and I added about half of that so we put all of that in there and then we started it off on a um, high medium boil once it starts boiling, that's when we turned it down. You came over here and turned it down to like yeah. a low medium. <laughs> yes. Just because it was bubbling, we could hear it sizzling. So once it, that's done, we let it cook for another additional two to three hours. If you're adding extra beans, you are going to want to allow that to cook closer to the three hour time frame. Um, and once it kind of looks like you know, a soupy look. Yeah. Once it gets condensed, that's when it's kind of done. And we did put the bay leaf in there, the green pepper, and the onion, and we're actually going to take those out now just okay. because that cooks for flavor. We don't okay. actually want that in the beans. We don't want to be biting into whole peppers or garlic right. or onions. Not for yeah. this recipe. No, not this time. All right. All right, so now it's got all its flavor in there, and now it still has to cook for a little while, right? Yes, we still cook that for an additional about 30 to 45 minutes. You just keep it on low and let it simmer, kind of. Okay. So now we take the sofrito. First, you want to prepare it, so you have a lot of ingredients that go in this. The first thing is four to five cloves of garlic, one to one and a half large size green peppers, or you can use two medium ones, one large onion, and then two teaspoons or spoonfuls of jardinera. You want to use Chicago style. You place all of those in a food processor. Now you're going to see cider vinegar, salt, and then also cumin on that list. Those come into play later. That's still a part of the sofrito, but first you're just going to take those first four ingredients, the green pepper, onion, garlic, and then also the jardinere, and you're going to mix it in this pot. The first thing, though, is you're going to heat up a little bit of olive oil first. Let that heat up and become fragrant, and then you add those four ingredients to this. It should start to boil kind of like what you see here. Mm -hmm. Um, and it needs to cook for 8 to 10 minutes, and then after that's done cooking, we're going to put this into the black beans. Wonderful. And so that's kind of the first step is we'll place that, and I know there is some more sofrito, like you said, that uh, we're keeping in the fridge. That'll yes. be for the next step, so uh, that will be what we go on with next. Yep. So we'll place this in with the beans, and that's step one of the recipe, yep. right? We let that continue cooking for about 30 to 45 more minutes. Then we moved on to the picadillo. I can almost like smell it all over. Oh again. yeah! <laughs> so we'll have part two in our next half hour, and yes. then uh, show you the taste test later. That was so much fun. I know. It was I love doing day. these cooking yeah, segments. Yeah, great recipe. Um, Spoiler alert: it tasted delicious. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to mention two yeah. things: just the lid being cracked while you're cooking it, yes. and then also you can use a uh, can of black beans if you don't have that four to five hour time frame right. window for the black beans. Yes, but it, the more authentic and the more time taken, the better. Oh, yes. it tasted so good. Yeah. So if you have the time, definitely try it. Yes. Well, if people have any.